Uh, John Allen is present. What you call for a roll call vote? Um, need a roll call, please. Uh, John, you're here? John, John Allen is here. Harry? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Dave? Yes, David Moskin here. Okay. What's that? Can you turn on your cameras, please? Or don't. This conference will now be recorded. We're fine just being recorded because it's virtual, okay? Not enough. Oh, Are we all set to go with that? I'm going to ask Kathleen to turn on the cameras. Could, uh, excuse me, could Hadley Media turn on the cameras, please? Yep. Otherwise, you have to say your name before you speak every time. <clears throat> That's one. This one does not need to be on. Did you have to turn? Did you have to turn? What do you think there's people in the house? Oh. This is chair. Um, this camera, the one I'm in right now, does not. Uh, is the one that only needs to be on. The other one is just for streaming purposes. Um, in fact, I you really don't need to see me. No, I'm on camera. Is anyone else present? Okay. Yeah, we need to the minutes to know everything is present. Well, so we need to read the previous minutes? No, for the minutes, we need to know every who, who single person who's present. Yeah. Who, who is present there, please? Do you want to say who you're? Do we have who, who else is there present to listen to this meeting? There are three other people listening to the meeting. What? They have to identify themselves. Could you could they identify themselves, please? They don't want to. Now what happens? Is there Harry, are you there? Are you present? Yes, I am. In, in the room? This is Judy Okulski from Belchertown. You don't have to identify it unless she sees it. According to open meeting laws. Can we go ahead with the meeting then? All right. All right. I am going to read the instructions to the public body about the complaint. The chair must disseminate the complaint to the members of the public body. The public body must meet and review the complaint in 14 business days, usually 20 to 22 calendar days. After the review, but within 14 business days, the public body must respond to the complaint in writing and must send the complainant a response and description of any action the public body has taken to address the allegations in the complaint. At the same time, the body must send the, the attorney general a copy of the complaint and a copy of the response. The, the public body may delegate uh, this responsibility to an individual member of the public body, its council or its staff member, but only after the public body has met to review the complaint. If the public body required more time to review the complaint and respond, it may request an extension for time for a good cause by contacting the Division of Open Government. 
Does everybody understand? Yes. Yes. All right, now we'll... We can one person. We heard David and I think Harry. 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 So heard John. John? I said, I said yes. Yes. David? Yes. Harry? Oh, hard to hear you. I said yes. Okay. All right, now we'll, we'll get on to the complaint. You want me to yes, yes. Okay. Lord. So on December 17th, uh, email from John, uh, December 17, 2022, email from John Allen, Commissioner, to Rich Whitkiss, Chair, Harry Chad, Commissioner, Risa Smith, Freed Commissioner with CC to Evelyn Masaya at the Department of Housing and Community Development. Mr. Allen states an email from DHCD, quote, confirms some members' suspicions that there is currently no valid contract between Amherst Housing Authority and Hadley Housing Authority, end quote. He goes on to state concerns about, quote, serious questions, end quote, and funds, then goes on to recommend the Board of Commissioner involve Town of Hadley's attorney in no negotiations and also involve Hadley's select board. He then says he will not attend the Board of Commissioner public meeting scheduled for December 20 at 12 because of the contract issue. On December 18, 2022, email reply from Harry Chadwick, Commissioner to Rich Whit, as Chair, John Allen Commissioner, Risa Smith Freed Commissioner with copy to Evelyn Masaya at Department of Housing and Community Development, wherein Chadwick discusses the quote, disturbing information end quote from John Allen's email about the contract not being valid and other quote, serious issues end quote. He further states he will not attend the Board of Commissioner meeting scheduled for December 20th at 12 because of the contract issue. All four commissioners were addressed in these emails. The chair convened the Board of Commissioners as scheduled on December 20th, but without a quorum, we could not deliberate the agenda, vote on or approve legal financials or address the contract issue. Moreover, the public and the tenants could not be made aware of the problem with the contract. Allen and Chadwick have a pattern of sending emails to discuss agenda items and topics falling under Board of Commissioner responsibility. That's legal, financial oversight and supervision of the executive director and policy. To the entire Board of Commissioners, since I became a commissioner, the end of August 2022. I've asked them to stop sending me emails, texts on multiple occasions as such discussions must be held during the Board of Commissioner meeting and open to the public and tenants, yet they both continue to send emails deliberating agenda items. December 19th, 2022, Courtney Kern of DHCD replied to the CC emails from Allen and Chadwick addressed to and on behalf of Evelyn Musea, in which Curran states that Allen and Chadwick's discussion via emails are a potential violation of open meeting law. That's the description of the complaint. Uh, part of the complaint form is uh, answering the question by the Attorney General's office, what actions do you want the public body to take in response to your complaint? And I'm asking the Board of Commissioners of Hadley Housing Authority to take immediate action requiring John Allen and Harry Chadwick to retake the Attorney General, uh, uh, General's open meeting law training. I further ask that Allen and Chadwick stop sending emails and texts to the Board of Commissioners. If either has a scheduling conflict or suggestion for an agenda item, they can address the chair. That's the end of it. You all understand the complaint? John? Yeah, I do. Harry? Yes, I do. 
David? Yes, sir. And uh, now I found one. All right. Any? Do you have any uh, responses to this complaint? Any one of uh, you? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I've drafted a uh, potential response uh, for the board to consider and adopt if they feel it's appropriate. Okay. Would you like me to read it? Yes, please. All right. The board denies violating the open meeting law and notes that your complaint does not include the full story surrounding the emails you claim violated the open meeting law. The email forwarded to the board was sent by DHCD late Friday afternoon after the agenda for the next meeting had been posted. It was important because it contradicted a repeated claim that a valid contract existed covering administrative services of the heavy housing authority. A copy of the DHCD email was not included in the complaint but is attached. Since the chairman does not answer phone calls, texts, or emails, there was no alternative but to send the DHCD information so the members knew about DHCD's position and could decide what to do about the potential false claim at the next meeting. As the open meeting law guide indicates, and I'm quoting from it, um, uh, as the open meeting law guide indicates, members may lawfully email a quorum to distribute documents to be discussed at a future meeting. The see Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 18. The email was definitely meant to be considered at a future meeting of the board. The commissioners being aware of the issue would be able to have informed public, <clears throat> public deliberation about the matter at the next meeting. There was no deliberation when sent. That being the case, the public did not miss out on any deliberation. To reiterate, the proper in the proper context, the emails just passed on meeting material for future discussion and deliberation at a public meeting. There was no deliberation when sent. Um, and so the public did not miss out on any <coughs> deliberation. To reiterate the proper context, the emails just passed on meeting material for future discussion and deliberation at a public meeting. It was necessary because the chair does not respond to phone calls, texts, or emails, and there is no staff. To avoid the dilemma in the future, a new, more communicative chairman may need to be discussed at a future meeting. The board respectfully requests that all members review the above mentioned section of the open meeting law. And that's it. All right. All right, John. Uh, uh, is there a way you could uh, forward this information to us? I would like the board to vote on it first. I, I don't think there's any point in, in uh, disseminating information that's not been voted on. You want to vote on this thing? You don't have anything to review. You don't have those documents to review. Can't, can't yeah. vote on something we can't review. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yes, we were discussing it, and uh, I believe we cannot vote on something we cannot review over here. You, you just heard it, didn't you? <laughs> well, we'd like it to see it. All right. Um, is our next meeting within the 14 days we have to respond? No. No. Well, then we're, we have a dilemma, Mr. Chairman. What's that? Um, if I can speak. Please. Just, so with permission of the chair, 
the email from DHCD has never been forwarded. We've, no one has seen the copy of the email from DHCD that you're referring to. Is that true? That was for just everybody. Can they send that over from here? No. Okay, and then you get turn off the volume. You turn on Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The chair doesn't have any information to this meeting, but the email from the department has been forwarded. That email was not forwarded. It was just a huge chain that was started. We have two microphones on over there. Could you ask them to uh, turn one of them off? Mr. Mm -hmm. Chairman, you've got two microphones open there. And would you turn one of them off? Yeah, my, my. Mr. Chair, uh, if I may, um, Alex and Marsh, Halley Media, um, we have two microphones on over there. Here's excessive feedback coming in our end. Okay. And it's hard so to hear. They should be off. Turn off the volume on the, on the laptop. Tell them the microphone's off. Yeah, you just got to turn off the volume. Just tell them the microphone is off. Yeah, I did. Okay. No, now. It says it hasn't. I'm, I'm working on it. You gotta be patient with me. I see you at the same time. I'm just gonna see you. No, it's people. Okay, can you hear now? It's still on. It's still on. Pamela, you it's Judy Okowski again. You have two sites open. You have your and then you have how have a house authority. That's why we're getting feedback. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear us now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So the email from Department of Housing, the Department of Housing was never received by the board, the staff, and you, that's, you never forwarded that email, which is part of his, your response to the open meeting law complaint, that you were distributing information. We're checking just a second. Who is that? Hmm? That's, Who is that? Family. That's beautiful. Why did you not have a uh, good question? <clears throat> Her car is over there. This is what you said to me. They're checking. Oh, they're who was referring to? That's all I care about. Yeah, but all you said was you got the information from the DHCD. You did not include the DHCD correspondence from Evelyn to you. Okay. That's what they're referring to. Okay. You sent this, but you didn't send what Evelyn sent to you. Okay. That's what they're saying. So, <clears throat> what you would like me to do is to send you all a copy of the uh, DHCD email. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and that won't precipitate another open meeting law violation. No, that's that's in your in your reply. You're advising that you're disseminating information to the board 
from the Department of Housing and that you were you were that you're allowed under the open meeting law to disseminate board information. You did not do that. You just started a chain email and you discussed the management agreement. You discussed the um, the the what you believe was the underlying conclusion of the email and that there would not be a meeting you that you would not be coming to a meeting so you want the copy of the dhcd correspondence that john that he's looking at now on his phone the copy of what evelyn sent to him is what you need to see to me and richard So you need to find. I, I can't find it. Well, hmm? I'll find it after the meeting. Well, they want that before we. But if you find it after the meeting, we're gonna we're gonna be well outside of our fourteen days. We're gonna have to have another meeting. Okay. There's deliberation. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, Harry here. Hello. Go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Um, so yeah. what do you need from John is a copy or that email that came from the DHCD stating there is no valid contract. Is that what you need? And his response. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way you need and and your response. And the response that John read this morning. Right. Okay. Right. Now you now, want so with I, I'm not finished. So within the 14 days that we need to respond, we'll need to have a meeting in a day or two after you get all this, so that we're still within our 14 days. <laughs> What 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 is she saying? I can't hear what She's Commissioner Smith Fried is saying. Oh, I was reading. Uh, may I? Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Chris. So again, on the instruction for the open meeting law complaint uh, that you all have. It says that the public body does not respond within 14 business days and does not request an extension to respond, then I would contact the AG's office. But if we can agree uh, to ask for an extension with the AG's office, then, you know, but it doesn't seem to me an extension is necessary it's it, it's it, this isn't a trial i'm just asking to have the uh open meeting law training repeated i am not asking for much here um this is not an adjudication of whether or not anybody did anything it's that i have i have said here's the complaint i provided the documents and if i am dissatisfied with the complaint then i you all have to the the board of commissioners has to submit it uh, to the ag's office and so do i i'm not asking for a whole lot here just retake the training and stop emailing people other other than emailing rich to ask him about what time the meeting and or i can't come to the meeting or here's what something i think should be on the agenda that's the extent of any emails that should be sent to rich mr Your chairman Harry again. hello what can you hear me i can hear you now I, I wanted to. I wanted to respond to that. 
Their mic is on. Was it, yeah, we turned down. Oh. Just a second, we're it? fixing our Wait. microphone. We had it turned down. We muted. Is that what our story is again? Have we been muted? Have we been muted here? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I'd like to know if you can hear me. I want to respond to that. Yes. Yeah, so all right. That's why I was just going to ask if there was any response. Go ahead. I have se several things to respond. Number one, um, I don't feel it would, that this is a trial. I agree it's not a trial. We're not uh, on trial here. Yet this story hit the newspaper. And frankly, I'm not pleased by that. I've had a, uh, a spotless career and, and uh, uh, in my life. And all of a sudden, I'm in the newspaper uh, with a charge or an accusation or an allegation that I have possibly violated an open meeting law. Uh, so I'm a little uh, unnerved by that, number one. Number two, I sit on another board, the Hampshire County Retirement Board, and every two years we must take that open meeting law seminar. And I am scheduled today at one o'clock to take that open meeting law seminar from one to 2.30. That would meet my obligation, not only on that board, but for this board as well. And that's in your complaint. But I feel that we, de we do need to respond to this complaint as this has been forwarded to the AG's office. It has been published in the newspaper that we could be possibly in violation of the law, which I don't believe we are, because all we did was pass on information that came from the DHCD that John will get and provide to you, as well as his response. And not the whole story was told here. And disseminating information in an email is hardly a violation of the open meeting law. And we didn't say we wouldn't come to the meeting. We asked for the meeting to be postponed. And then when the meeting took place on the 20th of December, it was stated that two board commissioners refused to come to the meeting because they refused to come to the meeting because of misinformation. There's no misinformation. We do not have a contract, period. And unless somebody can show us a contract or even what was sent to the DHCD back in July or August of 2020 with signatures and the DHC lost it, didn't get it, snail mail, whatever, nothing has been provided. As far as I'm concerned, we do not have a valid contract with the Amherst Housing Authority. But I am taking the open meeting law seminar at one o'clock this afternoon. Thank you for your time. Can I, may I respond? All right, uh, Pamela wants to respond. So I'm going to respond to that. Wait a minute. Why, so why is Pamela responding? This is a commission. Because the chair recognized issue. me. Because the chair recognized me. And Pamela Mr. also Chairman, has. Mr. An, yes. Mr. Chris, Mr. Chairman, this is a commission issue, not a executive director issue. Just like you don't want the tenants to uh, chime in, I think the executive director should not be chiming in either. This is a commission issue. All right. Thank you, John. Now, Pamela will respond. So, again, it has been repeated over and over again that there is not a valid contract. The Hadley Housing Authority entered into a contract with the Amherst Housing Authority in July of 2020. Because of COVID, everything was virtual at that time. Procedure by the Department of Housing was to encumber signatures with board votes. Those documents have been provided on four occasions to this new board of commissioners, on four occasions. The exact replica of the DHCD template management agreement contract, the board extracts, all of it has been provided to the board on four occasions. I don't know why it has been repeated over and over again that you haven't seen them. You've absolutely absolutely seen them. We further, and Richard Whitcoast was the chairperson at that time as well. Since 2020, the Hadley Housing Authority and the Amherst Housing Authority have worked in good faith on this, on this management agreement and the contracts. Budgets are approved on a quarterly basis, on a yearly basis, at the end of year. All of these things have been approved through each of the boards and through the Department of Housing. This is a red herring. 
And if there is no collusion going on between the board members, I would like to know also from a housing authority perspective, how a Hadley housing authority, how three commissioners are in a, an alternative location with residents in, and Hadley media, if you did not collude together to make that happen. And I'll, lastly, I'd like to point out that this let's go over in the DHCD training, you were supposed to have the open meeting training and the in August of 2022, the fee accountant and two regional attorneys came and gave a, a private training to the Hadley Board of Commissioners and this activity continues. That's all I have. Thank you, Pamela. Any response to that? I'll just say the contract I have, whether you've given it to me three, four, there's no signatures on it whatsoever. It's a blank contract. In my opinion, we do not have a contract, and I'm not going to have any more discussion about it today. I, I am also absolutely not in, have never received a signed contract. That's absolutely the truth. I keep getting a blank, I keep getting a blank form. And that does not count. By the way, Mr. Chairman, yes, I'd like to know who who is the chairman of the Amherst Housing Authority. Yes, it's Michael Burkhart. Michael Burkhart. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now get getting back to the. Uh, what do we need the copies at the we do, want we the do. document or actually i think they, they yes we do need a copy of that thing but it's I, I, okay so we do want that. okay so again when it comes to the board of commissioner aka the public body's response uh you've had all these at uh, this time to review the complaint since the 27th you got to review the complaint I, i've read it now twice once today and once on the 27th you have to as a public body respond to the complaint in writing and then send me a complaint the, the complainant a response and a description of any action that the public body has taken to address the allegations of the complaint. And the public body must send the attorney general a copy of the complaint and a copy of the response. That's really what we need to do today is formulate a response to send along with the complaint to the attorney general. Mr. Chairman. So we're reviewing, Chairman. we're reviewing the complaint today and then we need to formulate a response. If what you're saying is you need more time, we need more time as a public body to review the complaint and respond then we can we as a public body can ask for an extension of time for good cause i'm not sure we under the attorney general's point of view we're going to have good cause because we've had quite a bit of time so far okay john yes yes uh, i've done mr honest. chairman mr chairman yes. i have reviewed the, i've reviewed the complaint i've reviewed the open meeting law guide, and I've done all I can do. I have crafted a response. The only thing we need to do today is to vote either up or down on that re response, and then Risa will get a copy of it, and the attorney general will get a copy of it. Or the. Okay, no, we do we do. Yeah, well, we don't. Just, just, just call for a we vote, don't. and we'll take a roll call vote. Not we don't need a vote. It just uh you need a response right mm -hmm. that's what you're saying yeah. uh, we just need I, the response from you and Rick. i need to right. i need to have a vote on the response the commission oh. has to respond oh. not me oh. 
What? Okay. We can't go on what he, his response. John, my understanding is we can't vote on your response because even though you've read it, we've not seen it as a board of commissioners. We can't vote on it. You didn't provide it before the meeting to give us, you know, time. I should just put that with the packet. It, we can't decide that it's the board of commissioners response because you you did not give it to the board of commissioners you read it but, but nobody's had a chance to consider it before just now when you read it we can't vote on it for it to be the official response and no voting is needed anyway we just have to come to a conclusion based on what the law is and, and we're not the deciders in any way the attorney general's office will make the determination if open meeting law was violated any more response to that john <clears throat> i can I, I john will provide his his uh his draft to you today, as well as the DHCD correspondence he received from Evelyn Messiah stating there is no valid contract. I would make a motion we reconvene tomorrow. We're in the 14 days after you read it today. And tomorrow we will take an action and a vote on his response or the board's response. I'm in, I'm in California tomorrow if you need me for anything. So I've made a motion to reconvene tomorrow after you get all this information today. Is there a second to my motion? He won't be here tomorrow. I apologize that I, I'm David Moskin. I'm in California tomorrow. I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here for a meeting tomorrow. You'll be back when? It's virtual. You can call in. Oh, okay. I can try to do that. Just big time difference. Unless you get disconnected, like John got disconnected <laughs> at the last meeting. Would it be okay if we did this? You'll be back next week. Yeah. Okay. Are we within the 14 days? Yeah. If we do it next week. Yeah. Go ahead. I had enough of this. Re revise your, uh, your motion. Mr. Chairman, when's the 14 days? What's the last day of the 14 days, please? Can you work? I, We're going to have Pam. Yeah. We'll have Pam to work it out. Okay. We're checking on it right now. No, 14 days from the 27th. 14 business days. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that even with the company? No. It has to be by the board of commissioners. And this is an official. It's his opinion. Motion to just reject this claim. It appears to be just an information exchange and in discussion. I'll do that. I don't feel like I'm the right person. Your member. <laughs> well, today's the tenth, so you're saying we got till probably the seventeenth. Sixteenth is on Okay, so okay. that would make the seventeenth. I'll second. Right. Ask when people are available within forty-eight hours. We, I mean, we've got to post it within forty-eight hours. And explain why we can't do it tomorrow because it's not 48 hours notice. No. This is not an emergency. It's because board members didn't do what they're supposed to. Okay. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, Mr. Yeah. Chair, it's David Moskin. Yeah. So I'm yeah. brand new, so I am afraid you're going to discount anything I say. But everything I've heard up until today and today indicates that there was an exchange of information. And no matter what this email from DHD said, no one is saying that there was inappropriate deliberation or discussion about that email. The question from what I'm hearing at this meeting is whether or not it was sent out to everybody or not. So to violate the open meeting law, from my discussion, a deliberation has to happen between a quorum or more than two people on a board. So I'm not hearing anything that even smells like an open meeting law violation now if i'm missing something you can interrupt me but i'm yes 
but I'm going to make, I got to go to the airport, but I'm going to make a motion that we end discussion on this. And, I'm, and I think we should keep talking about open media law violations and how to behave properly as employees and as, as board members. But my motion right now is to stop discussion about this particular instance, since I haven't heard anything about a deliberation on information. So my motion is to stop discussion on this based on a lack of anybody claiming that there was deliberation about these emails. I understand you haven't seen the email from DHD, DHCD, and that's fine. That's just information that's going to come to you. No one seems to be saying that John and Harry or John and David or anybody has been deliberating. Any three people have been deliberating on this information. So I'm sorry to talk so much. It's always been a problem. I'm making a motion to end discussion on, on the open meeting law uh, violation. I'll second it. Further discussion? From what I understand, uh, John and uh, Harry cannot vote. Is there who any more response, please? Why can't they vote? Who, who said I can't vote? The subject of the complaint, they cannot vote. From, from what I've been told, you are subject with, with the complaint. Oh, so you who, cannot who vote. Told you that? No, no the, co the, the complaint says that the board is the subject. It, 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 I've got it right here. The board is the one who, who was complained about. And the, you've had a, you have a motion and a second. He has to answer prayers himself. He's the focus. I'm just not hearing conflict of interest. So you're saying that's a conflict of interest yeah, there? Absolutely. From what I understand, what, what the motion was, it's a, you have a conflict of interest there, from what I understand. My motion was who, about who, deliberation. Who, who's, who's claiming I had a conflict of interest? The motion that Mr. Moskin made had nothing to do with that. I'm just not hearing any discussion about deliberation, which is what open meeting law is about. Do you want to respond to that, Pamela? So the deliberate Excuse me, Pamela has the floor. So the, the the just of the open meeting law complaint is towards Mr. Allen and Mr. Chadwick. Therefore, you cannot vote on anything to do with the open meeting law. You have to recuse yourself because it's a conflict of interest. The deliberation respectfully is given in both of those things. It's given the most recent disturbing information. They're talking about that. They're agreeing that there's not a, a, a valid contract. They're talking about the contract in the, the um, resubmitted the emails. The, the emails go back and forth, and these are not even the first emails on it. There's deliberation about whether the contract is valid. There's no deliberation. There most certainly is. is. But I would there just say that you just, they just I need to get their response in. And, Mr. Musk, and certainly, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, John was saying something first. Mr. Moskin John? certainly, Mr. Moskin certainly has no conflict of interest. He's brand new to the board, and he just made a motion. Correct. You're right. He just made a motion, and um, he, being new and neutral, doesn't see any conflict at all, and he didn't see any deliberation at all. So please call for a roll call vote on his motion. We cannot do that. Discussion? Because it's yeah. you, two, so it's three of us. So yeah. There's only two left, so there's no, going to be no vote. The three of you the three could vote. The three of us could vote. Um, but you recent and she's part of it. Yeah, I'm part of the, the complaint. So you can't, so there's two. Yeah, there's only two people. There which would be no vote. There's no vote. That, that's what I was saying. This doesn't need to go to a vote. This is a lot of drama for no gain. Um, do you want to yeah. withdraw your 
But anyway, Absolutely you want to withdraw your complaint? If we don't come to an agreement within 14 business days, I'm required, and so is the Board of Commissioners required, to submit all relative relevant documents, including the video of this particular meeting to the AG's office. They'll do an investigation. So uh, we really have nothing to do but to give the attorney, as a board of commissioners, a public body, but to give the attorney general's office board of commissioners response doesn't need to be a vote. It really can't be a vote. We've got three commissioners that cannot vote out of our five. It's not a voting issue. It's like, how best should we respond to my hey, complaint? Lisa, Lisa is that, does it ever occur to you that what you're saying right now represents a conflict of interest? Discussion isn't a conflict of interest. There's nothing in it for me. You're chiming and in. I'm, not, I'm saying we should not, we can't vote. I can't vote. You can't vote. Harry can't vote. That leaves two commissioners out of five, is my understanding. Risa, and we are I'm not taking. The ones, uh, David, we are not the ones who make the determination whether or not an open meeting law was violated. You're not, I'm not, this Board of Commissioners does not make that determination. The board response that John had crafted that he read that you can have or he'll get you later denies the fact that we violated the open meeting law. But I am taking that open meeting law seminar at one o'clock. Does that, does that provide any uh, relief to you that uh, I'm taking that at one o'clock? and that removes the complaint? Well, that will certainly help the Attorney General's understanding of how serious you've taken it. I would suggest, and again, that part of what the Board of Commissioners today could say was we are requiring these two Board of Commissioner members to take retake the open meeting law training. They will provide the documentation that they have done so and that they will commit to not communicating by via email, text, or whatever to more than uh, one other person, because you can't talk to two other board of commissioners. That is a violation of open meeting law, because that's a quorum. You can't pass it on. You can't like send it to one and say, send it to the next one and send it to the next one in a way to circumvent the open meeting law, that's still a violation of open meeting law. And that's covered in the training as well. That's why Mr. I'm Chief. suggesting that you retake the training. That's what I'm well, asking for. I think it's really today. And Mr. Chair, okay. um, I don't know Risa yet, or you yet, but uh, I wanted to just mention that I've been on the uh, PBTA board for 25 years. I was a selectman for six years. I was a library trustee for six years. I was on the uh, Hadley Media Oversight Committee for six years. Uh, for all those services, you're required to take an ethics uh, course, you know, online ethics course and open meeting law, uh, in, you know, informational course. For all those years of serving on boards, there is constant exchanges of information on meeting times, contracts, all that stuff. What there isn't is back and forth discussion on the information. And even from what uh, Reese's or what the claim today is, I don't, I don't hear any back and forth. I hear there was an exchange of information from DHDD with board members. This goes on on a weekly and daily basis with the other boards I've sat on, and I believe with the boards that are around us today. So I, I think we all really need to look carefully at what open, law, open meeting law violations include. And if they include exchanges, ex, exchanges of information, um, I'll be very surprised. Okay, David, you could be so right 
I mean, you have so much experience on all these different public bodies. However, we're not the ones to make the decision. The, the board of commissioners is not who makes this determination. The attorney general's office makes the determination. And you can be completely accurate about everything you've asserted. Okay, and so they then will tell us that. Once the they look at all this, then they will the tell us that. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Well, but we have to respond so she can complain to the AG. She doesn't know. Okay, I would just I just wouldn't fight the complaint and let the attorney general decide and let the newspaper cover the attorney general. So I'm confident the attorney general general, attorney general is going to find no violation. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. So no, I would I'm not I go to the attorney general and make sure the newspaper Mr. covers <laughs> Mr. Chairman. I have the Mr. floor. Please want to respond. Uh, uh, so Jay, you, have a, you have a motion on the floor, sir. We're oh. discussing my motion. Uh, so yes, so yes, David. Everything uh, what you just said, the attorney. It's in the hands of the attorney general now. There's a uh, there's a process that must be followed. So what would make this go quickly and with less drama is for the two, uh, uh, for John and, and Harry to say, we'll retake the open meeting law training and we'll refrain from whatever, for, from communicating, deliberating, that kind of stuff. We'll just send an email about i can come to the meeting i can't come to the meeting can we change the date of meeting and i want this or that on the agenda that's really the extent of all emails should be so that's my point and then we can move this through and get and it'll be done and the attorney general's office will likely say thank you so much that's an appropriate response let's put this to bed and then all the board of commissioners has to do is say, provide proof that you took the open meeting law training. That's it. Let's keep it simple. And by the way, I am not, you keep talking about the newspaper thing. I don't get the newspaper, but I was required by this process to submit this open meeting law complaint to the town clerk. So if there was something that ended up in the newspaper, it came from the town clerk because it didn't come from me. It's on the agenda. Yeah, but it's public. Maybe it came from the agenda. We're happy to take the training. Right. I'm going to go to the airport. Yeah, I'm covered. taking it at one o'clock. Yeah. So the rest of us should say we're happy to take it, but that we don't believe there was a violation. We, we have to take the open meeting law uh, seminar every two years. Right. I had it two years ago. I'm taking it now. Yeah, I understand. It will comply with this yeah. as well as my responsibilities on the other board. Yeah, okay. So I'm fine. I'm taking it at one o'clock right. in an hour. But the problem is that yeah. having received the complaint, we are well, bound Go to ahead. It. Address that. Go ahead. All right. Mr. 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 Chairman. I, I know what I'm doing. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. The, the board is yeah. bound to respond to the complaint. And if the complainant doesn't like the response, then the complainant can figure out what to do next. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. 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 All right. But the board hasn't made a decision about how to respond to the complaint. That's the problem. Well, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So because of that, it has been. That's right. All right. Now, do you want to continue for another meeting? Don't have to. Don't have to. No. Okay. So all we need is his response. Mm -hmm. But but it's not our response. It's his response. His response. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah. So you will send us a response, John. Pardon me. You respond to. You will send us in writing. It's just a draft for the board to consider, and the yes, board send I'll send it. No, oh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, no vote to be made. 
All right, then I move we adjourn. All right. All right. Yeah. To adjourn. Word. Do I need a motion made to adjourn? I, I made the motion. No. Oh, second? Is there a second, David? To adjourn? Did we finish the business? No. I'm going to do what they said. That's all I can do. Oh. That's all I can do. I'll second the motion to adjourn. All right. All in favor? All right. Uh, David? David left. How long ago? How long ago did David leave? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes ago. Thank you. All right. I believe the meeting it will be adjourned. <laughs>